Hi everyone, it's Dr. B on the beach, and I'm always on the beach, even when I'm not on the beach, the beach is behind me this morning. So yes, today is the morning of my departure from my beach home. <sighs> Every time this gets harder and harder to do because I never want to go, but I know that, you know, the things that I have to do. I have to move around to do them. I, you know, I just can't sit on the beach and do nothing and just meditate. Oh, that's not how things get done around here. So don't think that I just sit around on the beach doing nothing into, or just praying and meditating going on. But um, this video is about, but you live on a beach though. Okay, so one of the things that people do that they should not do when they decide to embark on any kind of spiritual journey is comparison. Now, comparison is the killer to your spiritual walk because you are your own standard. Um, I'm my own standard. What I'm doing is not necessarily what God wants you to do. And what you're doing is not necessarily what God wants me to do. And so, um, the thing about it is that we have to be aware of who we are and what we came here to do so that we're not constantly comparing ourselves, looking to the left, looking to the right, saying, ooh, she's doing this, he's doing that, and how come I'm not doing this, or are they doing that, I want to do it too. So um, basically, the comments that I get from people like, well, you live on a beach, or you're living your life. You're living your dream. I wish I could do that too. You know, it's not really a wish. It's setting an, an intention and making a decision. So again, you don't get here by wishing and hoping and praying and, you know, being jealous. Oh, I'm on the beach. You're on the beach. I'm jealous. No. Um, I'm on the beach though comes from, uh, knowing that I'm in, right standing with my divine purpose and um, living that day by day, come what may, see what comes, expand my repertoire of experiences and share them with you. So when people say to me, but you're on the beach though, and I say to them, well, where do you want to be? Where would you rather be? Because for many years, I wanted to be on the beach every day, and I just, you know, never made any step, any attempt, any kind of plan, or I don't know if you need a plan or any kind of motivation to that direction. So, um, that beach life, though, it's all about what you want, and even being here on the beach and doing what I do, sometimes I'm like, well, I really should be over here or I really should be over there. I mean, those thoughts creep up and I watch them march on by, but don't compare what I'm doing to what you should be doing to what the other guy down the road should be doing and to what anybody should be doing because everybody's walk is different. Everybody's standard is different. Everybody's... um idea of how it's supposed to look is different. I'm trying to get more of this beach in my uh, video. So, but you live on the beach though, does not mean that I have no problems or no challenges or no situations. So, you know, being on the beach is divine purpose. It's part of my divine purpose, but it's not the be all and the end all. You know, there are issues on the beach. You know, there are jellyfish in the beach, you know, and you have to learn how to live a life so that you can command everything, uh, like the bugs, that they won't bite you, that the jellyfish won't bite you, that you, you know, I don't know, a shark don't bite you or whatever. So, um, but you live on the beach though. When I hear that, I hear comparison and I hear someone that's not listening to their own voice within that's guiding them. So 
And it also helps me to recognize haters. You know, sometimes they want to be nice. Be like, but you live on the beach, though. Uh, why are you not living on the beach? Why are you not doing what you want to do? That's that's the bigger question or the bigger issue. So um, I'm not going to get caught up in comparison. That's not my thing. Um, it's never been my thing, but I do it. And I'm recognizing when I do, because when I stop comparing myself to anything or any other entity on earth, then people will stop comparing themselves to me. So this is Dr. B on the beach and telling you don't do the most fatal mistake, which is, well, I don't know if it's the most fatal, but just don't compare your walk with anybody else's walk because my walk is totally different than your walk. And your walk is just as glorious and as beautiful as mine, or I don't know how you want to think about it or talk about it. However, um, com comparison is a dream killer. So don't engage in it. Though it's tempting, just don't engage in it. This is Dr. B on the beach. And I'm always on the beach, even when I'm not on the beach, because I carry the beach with me up here. So like and subscribe this video. Make a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to tell you because I'm open to your questions. What am I doing on the beach? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do on the beach, what my soul wants me to do. And you can do what your soul wants you to do too. Um, check me out on Patreon. I have a couple coaching programs on there and some resources that may help you along your way if you're considering this idea that you can live a more full life, that life can be great, life can be grand, life can be lived outside of a cubicle. Um, check it out, Dr. B on the Beach. I'm um, also on Instagram, Dr. B on the Beach, or my Facebook page, Denise Backus. So check me out. See you later. Traveling mercies to me and my family, and traveling mercies to you wherever you're going. Peace.